Okay, so in previous videos, what we've done is we found the probability uh, based on z-scores, and so now we're gonna we're gonna do the inverse of that. We're gonna be given a probability and then try to figure out some sort of z-score associated with that um, probability. So um, I happen to know that if I calculate the area under the curve, and I've got a video that shows all this, and I'm just gonna put negative four as my lower boundary, uh, and then I'm gonna put 1.28, okay? I'm gonna hit enter. Now, what what's going on here is the shaded area is the probability of an event occurring. And I specifically set up these numbers uh, in an in a interesting way. The part that's shaded in blue is 90% or 0.88 or 0.899, but if we rounded that, it's about 90% of the distribution under the curve, okay? So if I wanted to find the 90th percentile in a distribution and I wanted to find the associated z-score, the z-score is 1.28. Now, obviously, I've memorized that number because I'm a math teacher, um, but how would I find the z-score associated with this and double check it on my calculator? Well, there's a formula for z-score. You plug in the numbers, you'll get that. But your calculator actually has a function that will do that. So if I go to second vars and I say, whoops, went the wrong way there, inverse normal distribution, um, what this will do is I can calculate the area under the curve, which is the percentage. So if I were to put 0.8, nine nine I think it was like nine nine six or something like that and I leave mu at zero and the standard deviation at one I could do left tail center right um, and we'll talk about that if you notice the shaded region was the left tail of the distribution I could take a symmetrical center uh, and then I can also take the right tail I want to do the left tail and I'm going to hit enter and basically what I'm telling the calculator is I want to know the probability of 90% or 0.8996. Um, mu is going to be set at zero, although I will show you a video where we can standardize various uh, values uh, with the mean and standard deviation. Uh, and then I want a left tail. So when I hit enter, this should spit up something very close to 1.28. And so what this is telling me is this is going to give me the corresponding score of 1.28. Now, watch this be prepared to be amazed. I'm gonna go back to my graph. Now, if this blue section here is about 90%, then the right tail should be about 10%, and they should have the same z-score z because the z-score is really like the fence. This is the boundary, this is the cutoff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and hit second vars to pull up my distributions. Let's do point 0.1. We'll choose right, and then we will paste that. 